Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? My name is Harris and welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna be reacting to Bill Burr epidemic of gold digging hole. So without any delays, let's get to it. Here we go. I'm afraid to get married, man. Why would why wouldn't as a, why man wouldn't be afraid to get married at this point? You know, I am Kobe, look at the shit he's going through right now. Right? Ah. Guy's getting a divorce. Wife's gonna get 70 million bucks. Never hit a layup in her life. You know, can anybody explain these divorce settlements? Can anybody make sense of these fucking things? Tyler's no. his wife, $250 million. She's a babysitter with a quarter of a billion fucking dollars. <laughs> it's true, though. Somebody, go ahead. Somebody, explain, justify it. Justify it. What? What? He cheated on her? I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. He cheated on her. Great. The relationship's over right then. Kobe cheated, right? Shouldn't that relationship been over right then? Don't Why did right. she hang around like some jaded cop for three years trying to get a fucking <laughs> pension? Right? Get that ten years in? I love the analogy he uses. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that's too harsh. That shit bothers me, man. It bothers me Dude, as there well. There is an epidemic of gold digging whores in this country. <laughs> and every night I you know what it should be called pandemic now because it's global I am still paying the fucking money out put on the news and I'm waiting for someone to address it every night never see it you know and every night I bring up gold digging whores and the whole crowd pulls back like I'm up here talking about Bigfoot right <laughs> like I'm saying the moon's made out of cheese or something <laughs> talking about whores people they're everywhere that's right. How many? How many more great men are going to get chopped in half before we do something? It's getting worse, man. Why is it so quiet in here? <laughs> God damn, I don't... I love that he calls Listen, everyone out. Women, do you think I'm calling you... I'm not calling any woman here a whore, okay? No, absolutely so not. Pull back. That, that's not fair, okay? If you brought up wife beaters, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like pull back. I get it. There's guys hitting women, they need to be stopped. We gotta understand that gold digging whores are the wife beaters for men. <laughs> yeah, they are. That, that makes sense. Have that Rihanna lumped up photo <laughs> at the end. So it's not obvious. It's in the eyes. It's in the lines in your face. It's in Mel Gibson's high pitched voice on the answering machine. I had to give up my leg or ticket. <laughs> I love that man as well. It's the sound of a man being taken for everything he's got. I gotta tell you, it's just, I'm envious of women, okay? I'm not saying your problems get solved, but at least they're taken seriously. Exactly. You know? People, you got 1-800 numbers, you, get, you, got, you got ribbons, there's groups. People give a shit. Anything happens to a guy, it's just considered funny. Some woman cut her husband's dick off, threw it in the garbage disposal, and turned it on. <laughs> People thought it was hilarious. They were like, hey, hey, Stumpy. Nobody cares. <laughs> I'm laughing as well. If a guy removed a woman's and titty and threw it in the dryer, anybody would be joking about it the next day? <laughs> no. The entire country would grind to a halt. There'd be a moment of silence. The NFL would have some special colored headband everybody had to wear. <laughs> an entire month. Oh, I love the that. feminine color they could possibly come up with. He's calling out everyone, even activists All as well. All my heroes are going down. Arnold Schwarzenegger, another great man. <laughs> another great man. <laughs> Taken down by that gold digging whore of a maid he's got. Yeah, I remember I'm that. Saying, I'm not saying he's not a piece of shit for doing what he did. It was a piece of shit move. But how yeah. come only he got chastised? What about the maid? Why was she called the maid the, that entire story? She was never called a whore, ever. Yeah. This boggled my mind. She knew his wife, first name basis, played with their kids, fucked her husband in their own goddamn bed. That's right down the checklist. First ballot Hall of Fame whore. Right there. <laughs> Never. Why do you think she hooked up with them? Because of that 1987 flat top he's still rocking? The giant space between his teeth. I could put this mic cord through. <laughs> What do you think? Maybe it's all that kindergarten cop money laying around the goddamn bed. That's the reason, man. That's the reason. No, it's awful. It's a horrific thing to see as a guy, watching guys go through that shit, you know? And then there's no, there's no sort of examination of it. They just go, ah, he's an idiot. Hey, stupid. 
that guy's stupid. If that guy's stupid, what the fuck am I? Right? Exactly. <laughs> Does it even make sense? Why would you do that? Why would you accomplish all that and then fuck it up? Hooking up with one of the ugliest human beings <laughs> I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm a prize. I'm just saying, you know? It's got to be something beyond that, right? You know what I think it is? I think it comes down to the way he talks. You know? <laughs> that dude should be unloading trucks in Transylvania. <laughs> yeah. That should, be, that should have been the height of his success. But because he's a great man, he had the balls to move to America. Became famous for lifting weights. I lift weights, nobody gives a shit. He lifts weights. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Becomes super famous. Did he rest on his laurels? No. Next challenge. I'm going to become an actor, despite the fact that nobody can really understand me. <laughs> Against all odds, he starts making movies. Get down. There's a bomb. Get out of there. <laughs> Get to the <laughs> top of the blockbuster stars of all time. <laughs> what are you going to do next, Arnie? I think I'm Maddie or Kennedy. There's no fucking way you can do that. Bam, he does it. That's it. Cherry on top. I'm running for governor of a state I can't even pronounce. And he wins the election. Why wouldn't this guy think he couldn't bang his maid in his own bed and get away with it? Damn right. This dude has been in the zone for over four <laughs> decades. That's right. He started in seventies, didn't decades, he? Nothing but net. Bang a maid in my own bed, dude. That's a layup. Are you serious? <laughs> I had a hit movie with the midget. I don't even need a condom. <laughs> 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 That's so bad. Oh. And then what happens? The smoke clears. Then all these trolls come out of the woodwork and start judging this great man. All these fatties, these fucking old guys who never got any with their jowls coming on TV. Absolutely. <laughs> <reprehensible>. <laughs> What kind of a public servant? His, his, his legacy is strong. <laughs> like they have any idea what it's like to be tempted at that level, right? Like they have groupies as they waddle out to their mercury tracer parked on the other side of a dumpster. Really? You're beating them off? This That's guy, true. he's not a great man anymore. Terminator doesn't count. Is that what the fuck you're telling me? Don't fucking start that shit. Alice, really? He's still not a great man because he did that. Then that's, the whole thing's over. Anybody here think they could move to Austria, learn the language, become famous for working out, then be a movie star, then marry into their royalty and hold public office? How many lifetimes would you need? I'm on my third attempt at Rosetta Stone Spanish. <laughs> How can I judge these guys? That's right. I barely handle the temptations of Facebook. I'm going to judge Tiger Woods. I golf, I don't walk off the 18th hole and there's a busload of Scandinavian women waiting to fuck my brains out. Sorry, ladies, <laughs> stay home to the wife, right? I love bear, no, man. That kills me. And there's no help out there for guys. There isn't. There's nothing out there to help you handle becoming rich and famous. There's nothing to prepare you for that, for that platoon of whores that's going to form on the horizon. Right? Like Braveheart. Faces painted, skirts on, <laughs> on jump on your dick in front of your wife. They don't give a shit. It's not even a handbook out there. No, they don't. I saw one article written about it on, on the cover of Time magazine. It said, why do so many rich, famous, and powerful men act like absolute pigs? Right? And the article was actually written by a woman. <laughs> That's like me writing that baffled me as well. And what to expect. <laughs> Ladies, you're going to feel a pressure. What I know, you don't want to hear that from me, right? Then why is this woman telling me what it's like to have a dick? That makes no sense. You have no idea what it's like to have a dick. 24/7, do it, do it, fuck it, do it. Fucking do it. Do it, do it. Yeah, do it. That's how we survived as a species. Every man in here is programmed to fuck 85% of the women in this room, right? Yeah, we are. Do it, do it, fuck it, do it. You know? It's just that you won't. That's the only reason why we don't, you know? <laughs> That's not you keeping your dick in check, you know? Some guy at, at Home Depot working there, he wants to fuck just as many women as a celebrity, right? But he, he can't do it because whores don't care about lumber, right? Exactly. <laughs> Gotta have the dough. <laughs>
But the second he hits the fucking lottery, all of a sudden, you know that, do it. Oh, you handsome, honey. It wasn't affected. I'll do it. I'll suck it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Right? <laughs> No, somebody's got, somebody's got to step up. All right? I'm not even blaming horse, really. Just, guys, we're fucking idiots. What are we doing? Why are we working so hard and then giving it all away to some chick who did three shifts at a... I don't fucking know. You know? <laughs> they're fucking bums. Sitting there with fucking Dorito dust in their cleavage. Walking around <laughs> with hundreds of millions of dollars. I'm sick of that shit. That's what the law says. hundred years ago, I could beat you with a fucking mop handle. I'd be like, well, that's what the law says. Doesn't make us right. Yeah. No, it's unreal. And all this shit's going down, and we don't, we, we're not doing anything. What are we doing? Same old shit. Sitting around watching Shark Week. Right? <laughs> watching shit about poisonous snakes half a world away. Just filling your head up with all this useless information. What to do if you come face to face with a Bengal tiger? Don't look at it. Don't look away. Slowly back up as you push your friend forward. Right? <laughs> this useless information yet hanging between your legs is this thing that could crumble your entire empire seven minutes or less don't know a fucking thing about it <laughs> even worse you think it's your friend yeah you know why because your dick your dick's like a dreamer you know dick believes it's like a motivational speaker i, I believe shit. What question I you ask like, yeah, yeah, absolutely sounds All like right. a plan exit strategy later we'll be <laughs> Where's your dick when you get caught, right? Then it's just slumped over. Like, hey, I thought it was a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> you have to know that. Dude, your if your dick was a third base coach, it wouldn't hold anybody up. It'd just be fucking waving people around. <laughs> everybody, go in standing up. You got it. You got it. Oh, shit, there she comes. Slide, slide, slide. <laughs> All right, you guys were awesome. Thank you so much for coming out. I love them, man. You had as good a time as I did. Thank you. So... That was Bill Burr Epidemic of Gold Digging Hordes and it is one of my absolute favorite bits from Bill Burr. I've seen the whole stand up and I've seen this bit countless times. I think it has to be my most watched clip of Bill Burr. So that's why if you thought I'm not uh, reacting too much to it because I already know what's happening but at the same time I still enjoy it so much because I really do uh, like I love this clip as uh, so much and everything he said is uh, bang on man it's like what the fuck are we doing why the fuck are we doing this shit to ourselves like i'm still paying money man i'm not happy about that like fuck that but still i just fucked in it and the whole uh story about uh what do you call it these whores just jumping on your dick don't give a fuck about what happened to you and like it's so fucked up and funny thing is i was when he said that i told about that story that happened with drake where a girl tried to sue him after when she found a used condom and he put some chili on it or some tabasco i don't know exactly what he did with it but she put it in her vagina and it burns and she tried to sue him for it you the fucking bitch who's doing this shit, man. It's not him, but still, man. It's so fucked up. It's so fucked up. Like, there are, actually, there is an ep epidemic of gold digging whores. Doesn't mean that you are a whore. They, but there are some out there. And they're just we're waiting for a rich guy to come out. <laughs> but still, I absolutely love Bill Burr, man. I absolutely love it. And I hope you did, too, if you did. Like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment. Also, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Links are in the description down below. And I'll see you guys next time.